Hey guys, how are you all doing? Uh, just thought I'd do another GCW Zero video. These ones seem to be pretty popular uh, in the forums as well as uh, on YouTube anyway. And this is just going to be uh, a video on the new PlayStation emulator that has hit the scene. And it seems to be an updated version of the old emulator for PlayStation. Um, but they're named differently. So PSX for All was the original. And we've now got... PCSX for all, which is the new one. The best way to download this is to he head to the link below, which will be in the description and in the comments. And I'm sure there's plenty of people in the comment section that will help you guys out if you get stuck, but you just need to download the file, which is uh, obviously through the link, and then whack it onto your micro SD um, and copy it over to the zero, which seems to be the easiest way to do stuff, unless you know how to use FileZilla. Uh, then you can use that. But beyond that, uh, you also have to download a BIOS file like you did with the original, and you have to download your ROMs and put them on there too, so that this has something to load it from. So once we enter PCSX for all, you'll notice that it's PCSX uh, 2.3, and there's the menu is definitely more simple and ironed out. Sadly, they have not added support for analog stick and I cannot get a spare faceplate for my GCW Zero because my dog chewed it. I cannot find one anywhere. I've contacted everyone that was recommended to me on the forums and no one is being very helpful. But beyond that, yes, this analog stick is not used. We still have to use the crappy sticky D-pad which is squeaky as hell and um, I cannot seem to get it fixed and I don't want to take it apart either to get it fixed. So we have settings and we have load game, we have credits and we have qu quit. Everything is entered with the A button. If we go into settings, we'll see that it says BIOS. Now, if you follow the tutorial that is through the link in the description below, you'll realize that a BIOS file needs to be downloaded and it's the SCPH1001. If you remember from my last video, I had SCPH1001 and a bunch of others, which were USA, Japanese, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this one, you only need scph1001.bin and you need to have it in the correct folder for it to work. Now last night I did this and it saved everything that I've put in here um, for about two hours but now it doesn't save it at all. So if we're going to load game we'll load the same games as we loaded on the last emulator just to show you how they work. Castlevania is a big one for people I know and if we load it up it actually works much better than it did before if it works at all that is but it should do it may take a few minutes to load and then we should have uh, fully working Castlevania there we go so uh, I need to select the file there we go put in your name there we go So the cutscenes play really nicely as well. Uh, the sound is definitely fixed. You don't have that crappy FPS count at the top, which is set on by default. And all the stuff that was set on by default before is now switched off, so you don't have anything interrupting the gameplay uh, at all. And uh, it also seems to take up the whole of the screen, which is nice. So I'll only show you a few seconds of this, and then we'll move on to the other games. But you can see it already runs smoother, there's no visual bugs in there, the sound is excellent, um, overall uh, a, a million percent improvement over the first emulator. So basically that's Castlevania for you. Works really well, but in order to load up a new ROM, we have to press Start, Select Together, and quit. Then we have to go back into it, and then we have to go back into the settings, because it doesn't seem to save, and click onto SCPH1001.bin. 
And if we go to load game, we can see that we have to load the bin file, not the Q file. Um, I have both on here, um, which worked great with the last one. But the next one we'll load is Crash Bandicoot, which worked on the previous emulator. Um, if you boot it without the BIOS file, it worked on the previous emulator pretty well, actually. Uh, obviously, the audio bugs and the visual bugs were there um, but they weren't as bad as people were expecting considering that was an early version of the emulator now this version seems to be very particular because last night it loaded Crash Bandicoot absolutely fine now it doesn't seem to want to load Crash Bandicoot at all and I think there may be some compatibility issues here or some some coding that needs to be tied up because it's just not loading anything now that's a pain in the backside if we go to PSX for all and we go to file options Remember, this is the original really crappy version, and we go to load a game, and we go all the way through this crappy thing. Well, we got, no, that's not it. We go all the way through this crappy menu to get to where we need to be. Uh, I think it's on media. Yeah, SD card, PSX, and we go to Crash Bandicoot, and. Uh, Yada yada yada, yes, yes, yes. Now if we remember rightly, loading it this way, it it actually hung here. Before. So you can see that's what the first one does. It hangs right there. But if we go back into the first one and we go to file options uh, yep and we go to load a game without BIOS and then we go to the ROM itself um, PSX and we go to Crash Bandicoot and uh, are you sure you want to select yes And here we go. It starts up. So it's not the ROM that's the issue. It's it's the emulator that's the issue, which is extremely frustrating because, let's say, it worked last night, but it hasn't worked since. You can see, you know, Naughty Dog is running fine. The graphical issues are there, but but th that's the first one. That's the original, um, the original emulator, and it's actually working better than the current one right now so if we go back to the current one and we load a game and uh, we need to go back through no we need to go back to settings we need to put that BIOS file over then we need to go back to main menu All right, let's just go back to settings yep yeah, yep yeah, main menu load a game and um, we should go to PSX ROMs and if we go to should we go driver? No, we'll go Tony Hawk's Pro. This worked last time. It was terrible, but it worked. And this time it doesn't seem to be working because it's just stuck on loading. So you could be stuck here for hours thinking it's loading. And I don't think it is loading. If anyone does get it to load, then let me know in the comments section below but I've been trying this ROM all day and uh, it doesn't want to load so that's another game out which is again frustrating because this is supposed to be a better version uh, but compatibility seems to be an issue here and we got a Crash Bandicoot again I'll just show you Crash Bandicoot it says it's loading and uh, last night it worked but today it just doesn't want to work um, usually it would have loaded in by now but today it doesn't want to do anything at all
so that's Crash Bandicoot. Now, having to exit the app is also extremely frustrating, but hopefully at some point we will get a UI cleanup and uh, we will have to exit the app to actually get this stuff to work. So obviously we've got the Q file for Destruction Derby, we haven't got the bin file, so that's pretty useless. Um, if we go to Driver, which, which worked before, it seems to load up something but this is actually as far as it goes it doesn't load anything after this so that's driver nothing at all just just hangs um, which is extremely frustrating and if we go to the last game which is Mega Man 4 which we definitely know worked last time because we had requests showing gameplay of it and it worked We'll see if it works this time. No, I may have just done it without... I think I did load the BIOS, but I'll just uh, make sure that I load the BIOS again. Alright, SCP-81, load game, let's go to Mega Man 4. No, nothing it just doesn't seem to be anything happening right now so as you can deduce from the video guys that this new emulator may seem better but for the current games that I've tried on there 99% of them don't work um, and they did work and do work with the previous one so you guys may want to stick with the previous one um, let me know in the comment section below if you do manage to get anything working at all on this uh, if you get any of the games that I've tried working on it, let me know in the comment section below. If anyone has any fixes, or the creator is watching this video and he has a fix, or you know I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comment section below so I can update with a later video. And um, yeah, it, take what you will from this video, guys. But personally, this this emulator may have some issues that need to be fixed. Um, and if they're fixed, then then we we will get a better working PSX emulator. I do hope they sort out the analog stick and I also hope that the compatibility issues do get fixed but for now it seems that there are some compatibility issues uh, and the uh, the emulator doesn't seem to like loading ROMs um, certain ones at all the previous one just seems to be the better option at the minute so if you like the video hit the like button, if you didn't hit the dislike button, if you have any uh, concerns or any ways to fix issues I'm having let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if anyone knows where to get a spare face shield, please let me know in the comment section below as well. And uh, as always uh, subscribe for more. Cheers.